Welcome everyone, Ify here with another video about fragrances, of course. I've been meaning to go to the city center for a while now because I wanted to try out some fragrances and I know there are some shops there that are selling them and I sprayed on a couple of fragrances. So the first one that I tried, I have actually put it on my hand, on my clothes. It was the new coach, which is called Open Road for Men and it reminded me of Coach Platinum, but lighter and more airy, but a lot weaker. I mean, in a couple of minutes, I could barely smell it. I got nose blind to it very quickly. It felt juvenile, it felt mild, safe, soft. It did project some mild, nice whiffs while I was walking around, but man, it was weak. And even though it feels like a teenager fragrance, I don't know if it's going to sell because fragrances these days are finally strong. I mean, designers are finally releasing some strong scents in Elixir versions, Parfum and so on. Doesn't seem to be able to compete with those. I mean, even if I didn't wear this fragrance for a full day, like a proper wearing, I don't know how it could catch up in performance if it didn't felt like a strong fragrance from the beginning. I haven't experienced a fragrance that was soft in the opening and then later on it turned very strong. I mean, if it happened, it was a very rare case. Moving on, I tried the Montclair fragrance and I didn't get the hype with it. I know there's a bit of hype going on with this fragrance right now. I think it's just marketing because this I've smelled it before and nobody talked about that fragrance in two fragrances actually. One is more popular and it's the Le Labo Santal 33 and the other one is one that it's a lot cheaper and it's also a designer and that's Dunhill Century. And I prefer the Dunhill Century because of its low price, very good performance, generous quantity. I think there's this hype with this fragrance because they're bringing something new, not something useful, but new on LED display. But then what's next? A fragrance that makes sounds is that going to sell just because they're bringing something new? Next, I tried something from the Dior, the private collection, which is this one, Vanilla Diorama. That was my plan to get an idea on this private collection to see how, to see if they're different from the usual designer fragrances, if they feel more like niche fragrances. And I think this is a combination in between. I think this is easy to wear, doesn't feel designer, but doesn't feel niche either. It's a high quality, let's say it's a high quality designer smell. I really like it and I'm definitely going to look more into their private collection. Also considering that I've heard many of them are being discontinued. Next, I wanted to try more fragrances from Initio because I consider these brands to be totally overhyped. I consider them to be way overpriced. I've tried three of their fragrances, Wood for Greatness, Rehab, and today I tried the Atomic Rose. What can I say? I think the only one that felt a bit more pleasant, it was the Rehab, but the other two, the Wood for Greatness and this one, Atomic Rose, felt harsh. And if you would give me this without knowing from which brand it came, I would say it comes from a cheap Middle Eastern house. That's my opinion, you can judge me, but that's my opinion. I've smelled lots of Middle Eastern fragrances and the fragrances from Initio give me that same feeling, that they have that Middle Eastern DNA in their fragrances. Even the bottles, the lid didn't stay well in place. They felt cheap. I'm glad that I reassured my thoughts and now I have my final thoughts on this brand. Next, I tried Delina from Perfumes de Marly because I've heard that it's like the holy grail of women's fragrances and I wasn't that impressed. Why? Because to me it smells more like a designer fragrance. I was expecting like, you know, a very unique, high quality, masterful blend for a women fragrance coming from a niche brand. Didn't happen. I have other fragrances from niche brands that smell better. It reminds me a bit of one of Penhaligon's fragrances, which I own. It's the Elizabethan Rose. 
but now in the very dry zone because in the opening it reminded me of fragrances like designer ones like La Vie Belle and other overly sweet women's fragrances. A bit more high quality but still I wasn't very impressed to say that indeed it's a very good fragrance for women. No. And last one I tried one from Fragrance Dubois. Never tried anything from them. I know they are quite expensive so I wanted to see why. I know that the bottles look very nice but I wanted to check also the quality of their fragrances. I tried Sahra which at first uh, it seems like a misspell but it matches the desert. The smell matches the type of fragrance which is trying to be inspired by the Saharian desert because this smells dry, it smells a bit spicy, it has not that Middle Eastern type of smell, it has an oriental vibe to it. It's definitely an oriental fragrance, but it smells high quality and definitely not like something I've smelled before. And I like it, I like this one. But even so, I don't know if I was willing to pay more than 200 pounds for this kind of smell. It's very strong and definitely high concentration because I don't know if you're able to see this. But it left a trace on the blotter and I'm glad I didn't spray it on my clothes. So yeah, definitely high concentration here, definitely an oily fragrance. So I can see why it's more expensive, but I don't know if I'm willing to pay that much. So these are the fragrances I've tried today, guys. What are your thoughts on them? I know most of you have already tried these. And until the next video, of course, keep smelling great.